the secrets of the kingdom the truths that enlighten men to command mysterious results number one i call it the law of complete surrender this is the mystery behind the unusual hand of god upon the life of a man now listen very carefully even if you've heard this before pay attention there is a system in the kingdom that causes God to invest such dimension of glory where a man can be such a host of the possibilities of God. The law that governs this is found in Jeremiah 29 verse 13. It's called the law of complete surrender. Not the law of fasting and prayer. The law of complete surrender. Your surrender vetoes your prayer. Your surrender vetoes whatever it is. It says, and ye shall seek me. Help me, house of David. And find me when ye what? With what? That means, pastor, if I claim to search for him and I don't find him, something about me is lying to me. Because the law is, if you find him, it's a proof all of you. So I keep seeking to see his power and his glory and I don't seem to find it and I keep seeking and I even cry and roll on the stage regardless of that performance. There is deception that is stopping the revelation of his presence and God is such that he will vet your sincerity until all of you respond to all of him otherwise you will never find him. To find him is not to be born again, it's a deeper dimension. Are we together now? Many pastors have missed this. Many individuals have missed this. They want power. They want grace. And then they go on 40 days dry. Nothing wrong with that. Except that the motif, the motivation, your heart is not surrendered. There was Anna and Penina. Two scriptures that are two people in the Bible that I use a lot. The Bible tells us that Penina had a child and Anna did not have a child. Anna wanted a child to prove that she was not a man. And God said, it's not enough reason to give you a child. But the day she aligned her will, you see that? Brothers and sisters, any man you see who is truly heavily anointed with grace and authority, the price for that was death. It says, so then death walks in us it's like occult you must pledge your all you're not going to come and say oh god give me this and i decide what i do no the issue of surrender is a big deal in the realm of the spirit it defines the limits of your possibilities surrender there are people that you see as though god owes them his presence pastor they invoke his presence and god shows up in a hurry as if his reputation is at stake there are men who are dead only dead men can carry god hmm. because when he comes his assignment is to take any life that he did not bring it's a realm called galatians 2 20. Hmm. you die and then come back to life through another supply death to your ambitions that is not consistent with him and to allow his lordship reign now let me tell you something it is not as easy as it looks ask abraham take now thy son thy only son whom thou lovest your future a representation of your pride and offer him upon a mount that i will show you it's one thing to carry my child then trek with him for three days and hang him and kill him Are we together surrender when you see certain men of god sometimes they may not even have as much revelation as you think but they stand and just say god bless you and heaven comes in a hurry brothers and sisters it's not about speaking there is blood that makes that word come to pass that blood is a representation of their dying to self please believe what i tell you there are men who everything about their life is a representation of God. They are the type that if God says, carry your house and sow as a seed, they say, yes, sir. They have lost the ability to say no to God. Don't just cover people's anointing and feel, oh, look, just I just want to. No, 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 no. Much more than that. You can get a man's tape. You can download it. You can listen. But you cannot receive his sacrifice. Are we together now? 
as i'm saying this now many of you are finding it hard you are wishing i'll finish this one quick to the next one you know why because there is something still alive so we try to use god to the point where he meets our needs then we keep him and god says i'm smarter than that Abba. i am god alone <laughs> from before time began listen have been on my throne that's what god is telling you i am god alone he doesn't have a future there's nothing like god bless me and then you will see i'm seeing already i already see the deception in your heart there's nothing like god prosper me and i will see no he said he that is faithful in little is faithful in much not will be is already faithful in much hear me house of david i show you a secret that will make people's prayer requests become a gift to you die to his will and pick up pick up the will of god don't don't get to a point where you complicate your life with flesh and self and carnality you come to a point where you tell him lord i love you i love you one time the lord asked me a question he said son can you die for me hi i thought about it i know many of you just say yes i thought about it honestly and i said no i said no i can suffer persecution for you but i do not think except they kill me when i don't know but consciously not, not yet you see i'm very sincere with god i when god asks a question like this he's introducing you to a realm god does not talk for nothing he uses questions to introduce men into dimensions i knew that he wanted to supply another grace and revelation brothers and sisters i stand before the god of heaven you are spiritual people there is nothing in my life today that i cannot give you show me i will kill it by myself ministry with speed i will throw it a thousand times for his presence let me show you a secret don't just sit down just there are systems are you hearing what i'm telling you absolutely nothing absolutely nothing there are some of us if god says buy one fan he said no 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 look, lord i reject that look this is this is i'm not i'm not ready for this kind of thing please don't inconvenience me i want to be comfortable death i show you a mystery this is what gives value to your prayers this is what gives value to every other thing your motive the bible says the heart of man is desperately wicked who can know there were people in the bible that were committed certain things and they changed overnight brothers and sisters until god vets you he cannot trust you he loves you but he cannot trust you to love you is a different thing than trusting you he loved abraham all the while but until abraham put his knife his future Romans chapter 4 gives us the contemplation of Abraham that he was planning to kill Isaac then kneel down and beg God to bring him back to life. A man defies his future, lays it down, picks up a knife and God was still not sure he could kill him. He could change his mind but as he was bringing the knife, Abraham stopped for now, not when you left your house, not when you came to church, now. I know that you fear me and because of that I swear come on sons of Abraham don't just say Abraham's blessings are mine the Bible says if you are Abraham's seed you will do the works of Abraham the works of Abraham is surrender as unto death a man who heaven watched adumbrating what the son of the living God would do and he says no in blessing I bless you in multiplying I multiply you there are men who because of their complete surrender to God have hosted certain dimensions of his grace in unusual levels. You look at the man, he's preaching what he's sharing, you know it, but the results, you will search for where he found it. Came from heaven through a yielded vessel. Please hear me, if this is where I stop today, I've shown you a secret. Why you can lock up yourself and say, oh God, make me like make me like pastor shola what is this grace of revelation and you are praying and hoping quickly that the anointing will come so you run and tell people in your village hey i'm not a failure god says that's very emotional but it's not enough reason to host my presence death don't 
get carried away just by nice clothes and english and mic let me tell you the anointing comes in response to death 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 when you die every other thing can die if god says you should give everything after all you are already dead it is a dead man that will not be embarrassed whether they call you apostle joshua selman or they call you brother selman dead men don't respond to those impulses you have lost the ability to be affected by all of these 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 things are we together now many things that we do show we have not surrendered all. oh god can you give me 100 million god gave you 200,000 and watched you you brought out the tithe you returned it back hi say no abba at least let me share it since i'm still going to bless my mother let me just take part of it and then use part of it and god says look at your heart you are still alive do you know there are people who their state is not kept by demons it is the best position designed by heaven to keep you fruitful so you remain there until your yieldedness promotes you to another level there are pastors that will not cross 50 members it is dangerous for their spiritual life my soul says yes says yes says yes my soul says yes says yes to your will everything within me says yes says yes truly says yes my soul says yes said yes that is not a special number don't sing it if you don't believe it emoji let me tell you keep your invitation cards and die the fastest way to publicize yourself in ministry is to remain in the secret place not run around disturbing people and saying look I'm a music artist I assure you if you invite me even you you will know that I'm, I'm not I'm not a small person all, all those kinds of carnal ways of looking for success there is a way God's glory rubs off on you the noise will be too loud you can't even stop it yourself when Jesus was about to resurrect did you see what happened an angel came and rolled the stone and sat on it let me see who rolls it back it's time for him to shine that's what happens to everyone who dies Jesus offered himself Philippians chapter 2 says permit this mind verse 5 to be in you which was also in Christ Jesus there was a construction of understanding that I can die he came as Jesus but laid down everything let me show you how he was exalted it was the psalmist who saw the coronation service the Lord said to my Lord sit thou at my right hand until I make your enemies to footstool and the Bible says this is how Jesus gained that office that he gave himself and was obedient hear this obedient unto death we are too alive in ourselves that's why we cannot host this presence I pray tonight that somebody desiring an unction will truly see that this thing is not about just thinking I am a prayer warrior. I'm not against prayer or just thinking I'm a word giant. Have you listened to this? I have the book. Have you eaten? I have listened to this. Have you lit? I even went to, I mean, um, what they call it? Bible Wonderland. Yesterday I just bought it. Oh God, this thing is not working because God is not a politician. Musicians come gospel artists and several people they sing and dance on stage and as soon as they go down we can't even remember what they said do you know why because you are just singing but when a dead man carries this mic he will sing something that you'll be crying for two weeks you can't remember all the song you will remember just one line one line oh, 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 oh. you don't know all the song oh, 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 oh no other song will minister to you you lock yourself and that becomes your song for two weeks oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 oh. and all of a sudden you come out from that standpoint and you see a 
and in one service 10 invitations are coming and all coming from your destiny helpers not just people who want to use you that's how god lifts men let me tell you something when i started out in ministry pastor there were several people we discussed a few things with pastor yesterday there were several men of god you know different things campus people pastors everybody wanting to go on tv radio and god told me sit down stay with me you know he always tells you stay and i will make you some of you let me tell you stop rushing seasons this is a word from god to you stop rushing seasons the way to be fastest in your journey is to stay in one place with him matter matter you are worried you are upset you are running around and for 10 years even the church has not started why don't you stay with him and get something of substance that you can take to the nations are we together now and i stayed with him oh, brothers and sisters like a madman stayed with him i remember pastor after our first crusade pfn said that they were willing to give venue that i should come and establish a branch of our ministry everybody say increase many of you will say that's jehovah sharp sharp apostle doors are opening mm -mm. I went to God and God used these exact words. He said, you will die. That's how I replied the PFN chairman. I said, sir, I just spoke with the Lord and he said I would die. And that means this thing, I'm not interested in it. Not every open door is anointed. The, the fact that it is open does not mean you should pass. <laughs> is God speaking to us tonight? somebody is already rising there are people today that you should go back and close that small fellowship in all fairness and sincerity and go back to god and say lord i'm tired of lying these gifts are not working i keep telling people this is the gift that you are what you are you know you are not seeing anything see all this all this confusion stay with him why pretend over something that can be real why pretend you are anointed when you can really be stay stay it may cost you others may be six hours ahead of you like the disciples were jesus remained but when he got up he started walking on water and caught up within a short time there are business people it's not yet time for manifestation because the place god is taking you to and the wealth is committed to you is about to commit to you it requires him having your heart